Hi, Super Spruce here, Battler, and Tamara Dimensions, the new game minus four video, episode eight. And it's been a, a while since last episode. I have, you know, as promised, I've gotten this upgrade, and I have a galaxy, and I'm I'm ready to try to go farther than just one galaxy point from a galactic sacrifice here. So what I'm what I'm going to I also actually have five time dimension shifts instead of just four, and this will help me get more tick speed upgrades so I can speed up the game further because right now I'm I'm gonna need everything I can to try to get as far as I can so I can get more galaxy points so you can see how much faster this is than than before like I think because of like the, the time dimension shifts and and like the galaxy the galaxy doesn't help all that much but it does help a little bit so all of this does add up, and you can see actually here, the, the first dimension percentage, it broke 70%. So that, that means it's real, like 70% second over second. So that means um, things are definitely speeding up. They're still not quite as fast as I may want them to be, but they're, they're definitely speeding up. So you can see I'm just getting more of these time dimensions. Here are the seventh dimensions, what I'm actually going to try to do, I'm going to try to go to 8th dimensions, which is E18 antimatter, or maybe a more accurate way to say it is E18, because of all like the, you know, the letters that are also like the symbols, so let's see, I need, okay, there's some here, that doesn't really help all that much, because it's the first and second dimensions, which only help this multiplier up here a little bit, versus something down here would help that multiplier a lot. So, all of a sudden, I'm actually pretty close to 8th dimensions. Actually, I can just get it right here. And, look at this. Dimension boost. And, I'm not cl even close to the next time dimension shift. So, I'm just going to do this dimension boost. And, this is where things are going to get interesting. Because now, I need 20 8th dimensions to do another dimension boost. I feel like this is going to... This is this may be a little bit tricky to, to get. Like, I, I feel like I would have to experience at least some sort of time wall with this but in the beginning it's gonna be fast because like look at this like I, st I started with about two-thirds of an antimatter per second so this is definitely it's definitely gonna be faster like especially with like the third dimensions and all this and then the um, let's see can I get here is the sixth time dimension which will definitely help things here is the fourth dimension and maybe it's a little slower than last time because I already had some tick speed upgrades like I had like 260 tick speed upgrades here I only have like 220 so that's why it's probably it feels a little bit slower the number of tick speed upgrades really does make a difference on how fast the game feels but anyway I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep pushing like this I'm probably just gonna do this off camera because it's essentially just the same thing as last time it's marginally faster but that's it so see in a bit okay, here it is eighth dimensions i can get these ten eighth dimensions and you can actually see i can galactic sacrifice for two galaxy points so that's definitely going to help but i think i'm going to try to go for more eighth dimensions also i think i, I broke like 85 percent there so that that really um made it feel faster a little bit but the thing is at this point the game is going to start slowing down because the thing is, essentially this multiplier up here, which is like a cause for a lot of the growth, is based on like the product of like the amount of like until tens you've bought. And it like starts out where it's like or like everything like every one of these would be like a like a two times multiplier or at least a one point five times multiplier, but now thing a, a lot of them, if I buy like an until ten, would only give me maybe a one point one, one point two times multiplier to all dimensions and that definitely makes the game feel slower i i need e28 antimatter like i'm at e22 right now i need e28 to be able to get the next dimension shift and i feel like that is actually could be doable in a reasonable amount of time except i'm not sure what it's going to be like after that like if i'm trying to go to 38th dimensions that's going to be tricky also, I could try to do a time dimension shift, which 
I feel like that could be risky because I'm resetting so much if I was to do a time dimension shift at that point. Like, because I think, I think this is in an effect. I, upon a time dimension boost, your dimension boosts do not reset unless you have more time dimension boosts. Um, then I'm still so confused by the, by this reward description, but it's like, yeah, your dimension boosts don't reset unless they, okay, they, they, don't reset if you have equal amount of dimension boosts or like I I may actually like I like I may try it like export my save and then try it and see if it actually resets my dimension boosts because and I, it and the thing is I'm I will actually get the dimension boost before because I need E two A antimatter to get the time dimension shift but only E twenty eight to get the regular dimension shift so. Um, yeah, that, that's a thing. Also, it's starting to be like where the tick speed upgrades may be better than the, like, the individual one of, of these. Because this multiplier is just gonna go up by so little. But the thing is, look at this. 28th dimensions. This could also make it so I can get more galaxy points from Galactic Sacrifice. Which would be amazing. I'm not sure if it's actually gonna do that, but it may. So let's see if it does. It doesn't... Okay, no, it's not. Unfortunately, that that's a shame. But maybe the the new dimension boost will help things because now things are gonna be even faster than they were before. And it's like I'm, I actually want to see what the percentages are gonna be like. like I'm, I feel like they're gonna like these percentages here. Like I saw, I saw it broke eighty five percent. Maybe it'll break a hundred percent. And I'm actually really curious. To see that honestly so like like i i did the same thing with new game minus 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 i'm now just doing it with new game minus four it's like yeah but anyway i'm into the fourth dimensions it's, it's sort of slow until i start getting like fifth dimensions you can see it gets up to 50 percent actually it gets up all the way up to 60 percent so it's pretty good but it gets it gets better later where like you can see i'm now close to sixth dimension or not not even six dimensions fifth dimensions which will give me let's see 42 52 68 let's see can i get anything better than that 61 nope it doesn't look like i can get much better than that except it's gonna get better once i start getting the sixth dimension that was only the fifth dimensions so when i get the sixth dimensions it's gonna start going up let's see 30 40 um 50 60 and this is yeah, 75, 70, uh, I got it, I think I saw 77. I think that's the highest I saw. Also, I can I can actually press T to give max tick speed upgrades. Like, it, it's not wise to do M because then it would just buy all these useless ones. But T, I think, will be a really useful one. So actually, here, here I go again. Look at this, uh, 30, 40%, 50%, 60. That, that was 86, 80... I saw 89. It doesn't see 90, but I saw 89. So, yeah, that that's that's pretty crazy. And then there's going to be the eighth dimensions, which are going to help even more once I get enough antimatter. Let's see. So E17. Um, okay, now now I'm close to the eighth dimensions. Here we go. Also, there's dimensional sacrifice, which I haven't even talked about yet. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to just look at these percentage. 60, 70, 80... Uh, 87, 80, I saw 92, I think. 92% was the highest I could get it. But, okay, and anyway, there's this thing called galactic, you know, galactic sacrifice, dimensional sacrifice. I can't believe I have, I've actually never done a dimensional sacrifice in New Game Minus 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 Minus. You actually find dimensional sacrifice in the vanilla antimatter dimensions, surprisingly enough. And what dimensional sacrifice does is it resets your dimensions. Just your dimensions, not your antimatter. But it resets, like, the dimension. Doesn't Also, it doesn't reset these upgrades. Just the dimensions. For a boost to the 8th dimension equal to this multiplier. Now, that may get dilation nerfed, so the 11 times multiplier may be more like a 6 or 7 times multiplier. But that still could be very useful. I'm not exactly sure if I should do it. Actually, I'll just do it, because... Just to show you. So, look at that. It, what essentially, essentially, it stops production of antimatter for a little bit and yes he could have saw like 1000 percent 
second over second, but that doesn't really count because it, the antimatter isn't even going up at all, like when I'm doing that. So that will speed this up in the long run. Also, it gives the time dimensions more time to, to get tick speed upgrades. Like the time, I think time dimensions will still be doing its thing with with the dimensional sacrifice because dimensional sacrifice only affects normal dimensions. So this should make it easier to get to E to A antimatter to do the next time dimension shift. And I feel like since I have six dimension boosts, but only five time dimension shifts, I feel like that should not reset my dimensions. Okay, here I'm getting 28 dimensions again, and maybe I'll get th I'll be able to get three galaxy points from galactic sacrifice from this. Yeah, three galaxy points because it's the the galactic the the galaxy point formula is essentially it's it's I think it's more complicated than this, but like a simple way is like it's like a product of your eighth dimensions, dimension boosts, tick speed boosts, and antimatter galaxies. I I, I think the tick speed boost is more like a one plus tick speed boosts, but you get what I mean. It's it's, it's a, yeah, it's, it's a product. So like it's almost eighth dimensions raised to the fourth power, like something like that, because eventually you'll be starting to really get a lot of galaxy points as you accumulate more and more dimension boosts and tick speed boosts and antimatter galaxies. Or at least that's how it was in New Game Minus Minus Minus. Also, I'm close to this upgrade here. So I'm going to export my save and then get the upgrade. So look at this, time dimension shift number six. I, I think it's, it's yeah, it just resets antimatter, but I still have my six dimension boosts. That's the thing that matters most. Because now I'm gonna be able, able to get one more time dimension, which will give me a lot more tick speed upgrades. So now I can, I can get the seventh time dimension, which will, produce six time dimensions and hopefully speed up the game further. And I'm, I'm thinking my plan for like the near future is to like they're like I'm gonna try to push to 38th dimensions, which is definitely possible. It'll just take some time. And um, the thing is and then I'll have the choice between a dimension boost and a tick speed boost. And I think the regular dimension boost is better because the tick speed boost is a prestige layer and not only it's going to reset dimension boost, it's also going to reset time dimension shifts. So I don't think I want, I don't think I want a reset of that level. I think I'd rather just want a normal dimension boost. And I think if I can get that dimension boost and get to 38th dimensions after that, I feel like that should be enough to get five galaxy points and get the increase all dimension multipliers upgrade, which will make it a lot easier to get that many galaxy points. So yeah, that's the, that's the plan. I'm not sure exactly if it's gonna work, but I think it's promising if 20 um, eighth dimensions and um, six dimension boosts give three galaxy points. Actually, look at this. It's three galaxy points at six dimension boost and only 10 eighth dimensions. That's even more promising. That must mean that um, galaxy points may be based on time dimension shifts, interestingly enough. So that, that, that that's actually an interesting thing. I'm, I did not, like, I, I would have thought maybe it didn't um, do that because, like, the thing is time dimension shifts are a little bit different than the regular dimension boost and tick speed boosts. And like, I feel like tick speed boosts will only become relevant later on where I'm actually going to, where, where I'm going to re really trying to push, not just like the 38th dimension, but eventually I'll like, eventually, and if you've seen new game minus minus or new game minus minus minus, like eventually I start trying to push to like 60, 70, 80, eighth dimensions, essentially every 10 eighth dimensions is like a new milestone to reach so i mean maybe that gives you um spoilers but i don't even know what's gonna happen from here on out i'm just planning based on my experiences with antimatter dimensions new game minus minus and new game minus 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 which are pretty similar to this just it doesn't have the time dimension here the thing is that the next few runs here 
are just going to be for five galaxy points because the next three upgrades are all five galaxy points and they're all definitely going to help the first the first one and second one are essentially just like flat multipliers and then the third one is going to is going to make it so I can get like more galaxies and all that so now actually I can start getting some eighth dimensions maybe I can get up to four galaxy points uh no so it looks like I will need to do another dimension boost unfortunately but that's okay I'm also actually I mean I'm not that close but I'm feel sort of close to um, to the next time dimension shift to unlock the eighth time dimensions but I'm not exactly sure I may I could try to go for that I mean it may possibly be cheaper than this e38 antimatter I need for 38th dimensions so yeah it's, it's definitely gonna be some sort of time wall so Un yeah, unfortunately, it's just gonna it's just gonna take a while to reach. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.